This video presentation is entitled Absolute Positioning and is a companion piece to Chapter 8 of the book, so you want to learn to use HTML and CSS by James M. Renault, Ph.D. I'll be taking you through this presentation today. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use CSS to place uh, HTML elements exactly where you want them on the screen and how to layer them one on top of the other in exactly the order you wish to layer them. Now, absolute positioning is really kind of a cool, um, very powerful thing you can do to make a web page exactly the way you want it. But there's a problem. Because if you have users on different types of equipment, uh, different browsers, different screen resolutions, uh, maybe uh, different screen sizes, different zoom levels, and all kinds of other things, absolute positioned elements can become problematic. So, you know, this is not really recommended for a general use website, but it's something that you just need to remember back there in the back of your head that it's a it's a trick you can pull out if you really need it. So to use absolute positioning, we have to add the position colon absolute style to the element that we want to position absolutely. You have to tell it, okay, you're no longer positioning the way you know how to. You're going to be positioned absolutely. And then you can add the top left styles to, to that same element. And the top left style tells HTML, tells CSS, tells the web browser, really, where to put the top left corner of that element. And the element will just kind of grow down from that spot. Um, the dimensions can be in percentages, EMs, EXs, pixels, points, whatever. Um, and you can put a, basically, you could nail an element down exactly where you want, even on top of another element. In addition to adding right and left, you can also add a Z dash index to elements. And if a Z, if an element has a larger Z index, Z index isn't really a unit, it's just a number. If an element has a larger Z index than other elements, it will be on top of that element. So you could think of it as levels, layers up. How many layers tall are you? How many stories tall are you? The Z index automatic represents the uh, base layer. Um, and and then you can create Z indexes up or Z indexes negative if you want um, to to define how things are layered in your absolute positioning. So here's a simple HTML page, and then on the next slide we'll see some CSS that's going to absolutely position some things. There's a header with a div that says absolute positioning in a nav. There's a uh, paragraph in the middle of the Actually, there's a paragraph, and then there's a blank paragraph, and then there's a body, and uh, the, the body ends. So it's a very simple little HTML page that I'm just going to show you an example of how um, absolute positioning works. So here on this page, it, it, this isn't what you'd want to do. This is just an example, and an annoying example at that. Notice that I've said header nav. I've given it a, a border. I've given it a background color of pink. And I've said position it absolutely at 50 pixels down, 100 pixels over. So it literally parked that right on top of the paragraph that follows it. So we absolute positioned instead of it being over or being under, because by default it would have been under the word absolute positioning or the sin the yeah the the div absolute positioning it would have been under it um, but no we've decided to position it absolutely and so it's there sitting on top of your your paragraph of text this concludes the brief introduction to absolute positioning this presentation is copyright 2020 by me James Emerno PhD you can contact me at j, uh, jim at renejm.com. Remember, all rights are reserved, but this work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial share-alike 4.0 international license. And I'd like to say 
Thank you for watching.